Hey guys, what's up? It's me again, Tom from TTT Tom's Tech Time, again from Tel Aviv. I don't know if you've seen it, the last episode showed me crashing my drone. Actually, I lost it at a rock in the desert. It was quite frustrating and it's not good for my ego, I must honestly say. It was my first drone loss ever. I lost the DJI Mavic Pro Platinum. Some people in Israel have heard about my loss and they immediately offered me to start a rescue mission. And today, we're just gonna check out if we can find it. And this is really gonna be exciting because the drone is somewhere at a rock, at a deep rock that falls off pretty deep. And uh, let's just see if we can grab and rescue it today. Right now we're heading to Jerusalem and then from Jerusalem down to the desert and then with four x four cars right through the desert. Don't forget to leave a thumb up and don't forget to subscribe to never ever miss any of my upcoming episodes again. Stay tuned and fly safer than I did yesterday. And right now I really gotta leave. Ooh, it's dark because my car is already waiting. I can see there is a Land Cruiser and a guy waving at me, so that is probably him. So, that's the car I'm gonna use now. Hi. Hi, mate. What's up? How's it going? Excellent, how are you? <laughs> perfect, perfect. How could I say it? Ani rotze drone? Ani rotze rachfan. Ani rotze rachfan? Yeah. Damn. Ah, boka chulza. Okay. So this is what happens when you lose your drone in Israel. You get people to help you, try to rescue it, and you get a free shirt from the Israeli Drone Club. <laughs> That's how life should be. More often, right? Guys, a short and honest statement. It is a little embarrassing if you lose your drone and you have plenty of people meeting just to rescue it. You feel like <laughs> you were flying drones for the very first time in your life, which is fine, but I didn't want to crash mine right in front of others. <laughs> running and just recording some impressions yeah. <laughs> so that we look very smart and yeah I'm not sure if we say something super interesting I might use it I just turned on the sound so <laughs> So we just arrived at the location at Masaba and it just looks so beautiful again. Right now we're walking um, down the rocks and just gonna try to find the drone, spot it first and uh, then rescue it somehow with another drone. Let's just see if we can find it at first. That's gonna be step one, finding it without falling down the rocks ourselves. They found the drone. The one guy says he found it. Let's just see if that's true. That would be too awesome. Bye bye. Have so a nice day. He really just found it. Like after two minutes, maybe? That was an easy search somehow. <laughs> I thought it was, I don't know, at a worse place. That is actually super great. And he even says that the drone is, seems to be looking okay. Yeah. Let's just right now check out if, this, if the drone is one? still working. Now it was here overnight and now in the sun and of course it uh, had the crash. But besides some, some uh, minor scratches, it looks pretty good still. I'm really glad that we found it. <laughs> Ah, it's okay. good propaganda for DJI. Yeah, right now, right now it's... For the hardware, not for the software. Exactly, the hardware is pretty tough. 
We didn't get the chance to use all the magic tools that they brought. <laughs> but right now it's like a normal drone meeting almost. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought about just, just acting with it, you know, <laughs> just to make it look more exciting. So here is the program. Tea for Tom and coffee for the rest of us. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Please. Always the Europeans causing trouble. Not European, you are not typical European. I'm not? No, you're in Israel. <laughs> I want to check if it's still working. Remove the dead battery. Put a new one in. Now I have to replace one of the propellers. This one. It's broken on both sides, but that's fine. If it's only the propeller, then I'm happy. <laughs> but here it goes. Yeah, the software didn't work and... Uh, by the way, DJI told me it was uh, the new iOS causing the trouble and not the firmware. The app crashed again. Yeah. The application That's exactly what happened yesterday before I crashed the drone. I mean, the drone is safe. It was my fault yesterday, but still it shouldn't have happened. But be careful because the, yesterday there were helicopters flying very low here. So don't fly too It's not going to do anything to a helicopter. Pardon? It's not going to do anything to an helicopter. Yeah, but still we don't want to cause any trouble. We want to be peaceful because otherwise there's my address on it. Is <laughs> it? So now I'm in the shadow and I can say that the drone's body itself is really, really durable. It is perfectly functional. I think it crashed and was here overnight and then it was laying in the super hot desert sun and 100% functional. Even though I changed the propellers again, currently it's the old propellers on the new Mavic Pro Platinum. I just wanted to test something and uh, just a big recommendation for those drones. And now I'm just enjoying the shadow for a second. No, you just take a photo. Come on, that's beautiful. Let's do it like that. But just please make sure it's a raw photo. No. Just stare at the drone for a few seconds. Ah, <laughs> selfie. <laughs> now it's time for another group selfie. This time with the Israeli club drone, drone club t-shirts. What is it actually named in Hebrew? The club. How? Israel Drone Club. So say Argun, a Israeli. I can't say that. No, no. Uh, Argun, Israeli, don't clap. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. Yalla. Okay, now for some drone flying and chasing the two off-road 4x4 cars.
I am back at my apartment in Tel Aviv and here it is, the DJI Mavic Pro Platinum, saved and completely all right. I think the body is really durable. Again, product links can be found in the description below together with product links pointing at some Israeli drone Facebook groups that you should definitely check out if you're planning on coming over because this country is really worth the trip. The drone community is just amazing and the people are awesome in general. The sites are just stunning. If you're religious, it's a go. And if you just want to chill with your family, go to Eilat or Tel Aviv. It is just an amazing country and you will find everything. You can even go skiing in the winter. It is amazing. It's just half of the size of New Jersey. And um, I don't know, has so many sites and so many things to discover. You should definitely check it out yourself one day and right now I'm just gonna say thank you again to the whole drone community for being so awesome for I don't know rescuing my drone for showing me amazing sights and places I really had a great time over here and finally my Mavic Pro Platinum and I are back together this was Tom from TDT Tom's Tech Time don't forget to leave a thumb up don't forget to subscribe to never ever miss any of my upcoming episodes again stay tuned fly safe and yeah don't forget to check out the links in the description below this video thank you for watching